Hey friends, so we all have a chapter in our story that we don't read out loud. Sometimes it's because it's too difficult to talk about and that's okay. It's your story, so you only have to tell it if you want to. But very often, those chapters we don't talk about remain unread because we want to protect someone else's reputation or make excuses for their behavior. I know, I know, you absolutely should not make excuses for other adults. But sometimes the fact is that we do because we care for the person who wronged us and we don't want others to look poorly on them for what they did. Or because we feel like, well, yes, so-and-so did this that deeply hurt me, but I'm going to gloss it over because other people don't know them like I do. Or my favorite one, telling the truth about what this person did makes me look like a fool for falling for it. This fear of judgment stops us from speaking our truth. We keep it to ourselves instead. It's similar to making a stuffed animal at a Build-A-Bear store. Oh, look, a snake. Let's put a dress and a cute hat on it and then it looks less scary. Maybe nobody will notice it's a snake, but you see a snake in a cute hat and a dress is still a snake. Pretending it isn't exactly what it is will not protect you from getting bit and it certainly won't heal you from said bite either. Friends, you are not required to water down your story to preserve someone else's reputation. You are not required to make excuses for them either. It boils down to this. If someone doesn't want to be the villain in that chapter of your story, then they should treat you better, period. You are absolutely entitled to talk about the things that hurt you, what happened, how it made you feel, whatever helps you get through it. And listen, sometimes people will get angry at you for that, for telling the truth. Nobody wants to look bad. Nobody wants other people to think they're an a-hole, but hey, you wouldn't look like an a-hole if you didn't act like one. Just saying. Continuing to make excuses for another adult's bad behavior is similar to giving them a laminated hall pass they can use over and over to get out of accountability for said bad behavior. Why would they change anything when they are getting away with what you are tacitly telling them is acceptable? The tendency to protect others is in some people's nature. I will readily admit that in the past, I have most definitely withheld things from others to save someone else's reputation, even with people who have been jerks to me, until I realized that, what I, that I was giving them much more consideration than they gave me. I was hindering my own healing by not speaking my truth. Like the message says, you're allowed to tell your own story, and that includes the parts about things that hurt you and who did it, and be honest about the after effects. You don't have to protect anyone. You don't have to lie for them. You don't have to make excuses for them. Tell your story out loud. Tell it as many times as you have to until you can do so without feeling small and powerless, until you feel like the hero in said story. And you are, because you made it through. Chewy? That's all I've got for you this week. I'll be back next week with another priority message. Until then, take good care of yourselves. Bye.